What's up guys? So I got another video for you today. We are just going to be talking all about the event. I figured I should make a better video just talking about the event, all the things you can do, show off a little bit of the rewards, etc. So for starters, get to event, colon, colon, event right now. And it's going to teleport you right over here. So there are essentially four things you can do. The very first one, the easiest one, is kill these icy imps, which are a new addition that were added just a few minutes ago. Uh, and these are basically just meant to be the lowest tier monster. Uh, when the event first came out, there wasn't anything for like straight up new players to kill or do. Uh, so that was kind of dumb, and I figured I'd add these as a nice little way to, uh, you know, kill something if you're brand new to the game and you want to. Uh, not meant to be like the the meta methods or anything like that, but uh, you know, if you can't do anything else, I recommend doing these, right? So, if you have 87 Hunter, you can catch these Snow Imps right here. And these also just got a nice little buff. Each Snow Imp, or Snow snow Lizard, I mean. Each Snow Lizard is uh, three points now, three gold. And gold is basically what you're trying to obtain. You're trying to obtain Elven Gold. So, if you kill these Icy Imps, I'll show you the drop. So if you look in here, they have a, chance, a 1 in 57 chance of dropping 1 to 3 gold. If you look at the Icy Black Demon, which I'll show you those in a minute, they have a guaranteed chance of dropping 5 to 7 gold, as well as one big chance of 10 to 15. So, uh, if you're looking to kill something, Icy Black Demons is the way to go. In order to get to those, you just come over to the Dark Mage and teleport over here. You also have some, uh, you know, imps here as well, but Icy Black Demons, and obviously they do count as Black Demons. Now, the last option is turning in Red Mahogany Logs. So in order to get red mahogany logs, all you have to do is just chop, chop normal mahogany trees and you'll have a 1 in 15 chance of getting the red mahogany logs. They just come right in your inventory and it'll say you chop some red mahogany logs. Turning in one of those will give you 5 elven gold. Alright, there we go. Just figured I'd show you what it looks like. So whenever you have snow lizards or red mahogany logs you want to turn in, just come back to cold cold event and talk to Akatis. And then you have the options to turn in snow lizards or red mahogany logs. We'll turn in one, and boom, got some gold. So you can also see your progress if you look at what have I done so far. You can also do colon colon event stats if you want to just do that remotely, and it'll tell you everything you've turned in or done. So once you have this gold, there you come over here and trade him. These are the main things in the shop. So the three unique ones would be the Titan's boots, the Titan's gloves, and the Elven spikes. The boots and gloves are kind of self-explanatory. They are tier 65 hybrid. They only require level 60 to wield, but they're technically tier 65. Um, they're, the gloves are better than Barrel's gloves. They're better, uh, but they're not as good as Ferocious gloves. And I honestly didn't even check Tormented Bracelet or... Are there Ranger gloves in this game? I don't know. I still don't think we have Ranger gloves, right? Either way, either way, they're, they're the best in slot gloves. Uh, minus Ferocious Gloves for Melee. I know that much. Uh, the boots are slightly worse than Pegasians, Primordials, and Eternals, but they are all three combined. So you have that advantage. Very nice hybrid boot. And they also have Prayer Bonus, both of them. I believe it's two apiece, so that is pretty good. I don't think either of the other boots or gloves give Prayer Bonus, so that is, you know, best in slot Prayer Bonus for those slots, I assume. Well, probably the Holy Boots for boots, but you know what I mean. Whatever. Screw you. Anyways, the Elven Spice is used on the Infinite Stew to upgrade it into River's Jambalaya. River's Jambalaya heals twice as much and takes uh, half the time to restore. It is essentially, uh, yeah, I probably should have made this either more expensive or more rare. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, there, the event is already kind of grindy, as you can see from these prices. If you want to get all three, that's, uh, I mean, what is that, 1,300 kills? 1,350 black, Icy Black Demon kills? Uh, so it is kind of a grindy event. The, the logic behind this event as opposed to the last one is the last one was kind of random RNG. Everything was um, was on a, was on RNG and you, you know, you might have been lucky and you might have been like me where you got like 10 elite mystery boxes or 5 bonds or stuff like that. Or you might have been really unlucky and only got one bond the entire event. Now with this event you can pretty much guarantee what you get. If you grind out a certain thing you'll you'll be guaranteed to if you I mean if you want to just buy these bonds straight up for 2500 points it's 500 icy black demon kills is a five dollar bond 
And then also just added some little stuff in case you were sort of at the end of the event and you didn't want uh, any of the other things, but, you know, you wanted some of this stuff maybe. It's elven themed, so it just kind of made sense. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the event goodie bags. They did get updated with some of the newer stuff that was added to Elite Mystery Boxes. If you're not familiar with how event goodie bags work, is they essentially have every single thing from the Elite Mystery Box. Well, not every single thing, but all of the, the, the big stuff, including the donator stuff. Um, and then, like, so so from this point on, they're not going to get updated. So let's say if in the next update we add a new item to the donator store and to the Elite Mystery Boxes, that item will not get added to these event goodie bags while the event is live. However, during the next event, they will be added. So every event, the, the, the last chunk of donator items will get added to them. So, I mean, hypothetically, if you want to save them, you could. But I, I, I wouldn't recommend it just because, personally, I, I couldn't imagine waiting that long to open my event goodie bags. And you also have a chance of getting all the old stuff from events. So remember, event items are not discontinued or exclusive. Well, exclusive, yeah, but not discontinued. You can still get the Brudu Shields and the Beads of the Dead, as well as the Swarm Pet from these event goodie bags. Now it is really rare, it is much rarer than it was originally. Uh, you can also get the Titan's Boots, Titan's Gloves, and the Elven Spice. And it is slightly common, once this event ends, they will still be obtainable, but even more rare. So that's just kind of how the event goodie bags are gonna work. Let me open up a couple now and I'll show you. I already did a video last time on opening 500, so I don't wanna do that every single time because again, only a handful of, I mean, only maybe eight items or so are added. So I'll just do one inventory and I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and get one. As you can see, there's there's a perfect example. The Book of Terror was not in them before. It is in them now. Uh, the Brudu Shield was from the last event. We just got one of those, so that's pretty nice. I didn't make it yell, but I probably should have considering it is more rare than it was before. But uh, that is essentially it for the event. The last minor change to the event is that the massive undead cap... That is not how you spell massive. <laughs> Uh, the Massive Undead Cow Boss now also guarantees drop one Elven Gold, just so if we actually wanted to do it during the event, uh, we could. I also didn't mention it in the last update, but the event group loot chests also did receive a unique item. It is a tier 80 staff. It is essentially the end game staff. Um, I mean, there'll probably be higher staffs down the road just because, you know, end game is never really truly the end game. But you do have Ichthorin Scepter which we have to charge with dark energy. It is one thing per thing. That's light energy, you dummy. Uh, and so this is only obtainable from the group loot chests, which are only obtainable from doing group things like the undead cow boss and pest control. What? Why does stuff never want to work for me, bro? Never mind. pretend I didn't say anything because apparently it doesn't work. This was working 100%. I don't know why it isn't now. Wait, what? Wait, what? I see what I did wrong. I forgot to remove this little thingy down at the bottom that you have to add for... Uh, you have to add it for, like... Let me give you an example. So here's the trident and the staff. You have to put weapon type trident. I already did this, but I, uh, I think what I did is I think I accidentally removed it, thinking it was the uncharged version. Because originally there was only going to be one version, I just had a lot of trouble making that so. Uh, so I ended up adding the uncharged version right here in 954, and I think that's what I did. I think I accidentally removed it then, but that's an easy fix. If somebody manages to actually get the staff before the update this weekend comes live, I will update the server then and there, so that way they can use their staff. Um, but as of now, yeah, a little broken. I, that's kind of sucks. I, I can't show you what it looked like because it looks kind of cool. It's kind of similar to the other, the Trident and the Sanguine SD staff, except it's black and the little projectile is different. So it looks pretty cool. But it is going to be essentially your uh, in-game staff, definitely for now. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun to see if anybody gets it. The goal is to try to create a really big in-game weapon similar to the Twisted Bow that we all wanted to kill Vasa for. I'm hoping that we can get these in-game type weapons that will make people want to do the group bosses. Alright, just the last thing I want to talk about before I end this video, just a look at the month ahead. So this is the calendar we made up for the month. As you can see, we're already um, you know, with the Player Appreciation Event 2 live and the Double Experience. This weekend we're going to have double PVM points from bosses. PVM points is just another name for adventure points. I, I just forgot to put adventure points here. Uh, so the way that adventure points have been coded is you get them in a lot of different ways and the code is not 
uh, it's not very uh, friendly. Uh, so basically, whenever we do double adventure point type things, we have to kind of specify what it's going to be from. And it makes the most sense that we do a lot of the boss events, because, I mean, bosses are going to be huge. And it's probably going to be more than double, because I don't know if double would even be enough to motivate anybody. So this one's a little weird, but just know that the, the logic is the double adventure points from bosses. Next week, we're going to have double group chests from bosses. So instead of getting one loot, you would get two. So hopefully we can get a lot of people um, to have a nice big mass that weekend. Obviously, I will be hosting some myself. Following weekend, double Slayer points. On the 26th, the event will officially end, and then we'll have double daily task points. And for double daily task points, that'll actually be the entire week until the next update, just because, you know, for double daily task points, that would technically only be like two or three days. And we obviously want to give you more opportunities. So, um, you know, starting forward, we'll probably have something like this every month. I want to try to get you like get you guys information on like the actual update. Like, for example, the player appreciation event here, because I knew that that was going to be there. The problem is, um, you know, you've, you might have seen my last month ahead or sneak peek at the upcoming updates. I talked about Ash's Dungeon. I talked about, um, I believe I talked about Izal, which actually did come out. And then I talked about the Big Chin Chomp. And only one of those things ended up coming out so far. The other ones are still planned. They're still planned. It's just, uh, it's you know, some things are more important. Some things are harder. Some things, you know, some things just take precedence. You know, in, in a matter of a day, our entire motivation and plan could switch. Um, we've decided to. Uh, I'll, I'll talk a, a bit about the lore of revival. The lore I'm trying to create, and and it's going to make a lot of sense for these upcoming events, and then eventually God Wars Two, because God Wars Two and the gods is sort of like the main central theme of what I'm trying to create in terms of lore right because not everybody cares about lore and if you're one of those people that doesn't care about lore then that video won't be for you but you know if you do want to see that video that will be very soon and uh once you once you have that you'll have a better understanding of what the what the plan is moving forward with at least events and god wars 2 in, in relation to that because i think god wars 2 is probably going to be the next big massive um like massive bit of content i think i'd rather do god wars 2 before feeder of blood and before nightmare uh, I might change that up. You know, let me know your feedback. Do you think we should do it the other way around? We should have Nightmare and Theater Blood first. I'm just thinking uh, in terms of we need some big in-game content that's going to pe keep people interested. And I just think um, it'd probably be best to just do custom content. We want to do God Wars 2 anyway, so why not? And it also kind of fits into some of the other smaller stuff we want to do. For example, we want to change the home location to a smaller area, a more confined area that makes more sense. Um, and there's going to be lower reasons behind why, and it'll all make sense very soon. So if you're looking forward to that, video should be soon. I, I've said the should video should be soon so many fucking times in this video. I, I'm not going to edit it or delete it. <laughs> if, if you've made it this far in the video, you get to enjoy me having a, a fucking breakdown.